Hi everyone and welcome to Northeast Iowa. I apologize for any shadows. I'm trying to work in some time, some videos as I have time and this time works for me. Um, so I'll go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start a new series and I'm gonna call it Junk Journaling, Where Do I Start? And what that means is I have a friend who has started watching my videos and she has all these questions and rather than trying to answer each one individually for her, I thought I'd do some brief summary about what junk journaling is about and I'm not a know-it-all about this. I'm learning along with everyone else, so there's probably things I'm gonna miss, things I won't think of, but I thought this would be a great base for people getting to know what it is. As I shared in my first video, I shared um, some of the tools that you need to get started in this hobby. And uh, for this video, I want to focus on some terms that we throw around, which I won't hit them all, I know, but it'll be a good basic start. So these are a collection of journals that I've made. The very different kinds of journals. Um, I'll go ahead and scooch these off to the side. This is a composition notebook that I altered and um, it's actually the first kind of journal that I made and I just used it to stick things in. Um, this one, it is very basic. Um, I did create a side pocket here, that's what this is called, where you glue the top and the bottom and there's a, 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 a it's together down here too, and you can slide things into this side pocket. The side pocket can be the full width of the page. Oops, you can't see that, sorry. It can be the full width of the, width of the page, or it could be like right here, and just like a little side pocket. Sometimes the smaller ones that go the length of this are called a tuck. All right, let's see what else. Um, this is just a pocket that I added to the page. Um, here's another side pocket, and this is another pocket. Um, it's kind of, I don't know what I would, it's kind of a corner pocket, but it's made with the page. So yeah, and then this is just a side tuck here. I can scooch things in here. I glued just the bottom. Sometimes we glue the bottom and the top, and that's a tuck. So I'll go ahead and stop with that one. Um, I think this stitched in journal is the next kind that I made. Um, this is just a book cover. Uh, I can't think of another name for it. Here is also a side pocket and here's a little tuck spot. It's a tuck spot because it's just a small piece of material where you can just tuck a little bit of things into. It's not like a full pocket. And this journal I actually, I can do a th flip through of it in another video. Um, I created this to hold some of the memorabilia I got from my mom when we were going through her house. So this is another just little tuck. This is just a folded journaling card. A lot of times we leave them this big and then it would just give you a lot of journaling space. I chose to fold it in half. And here's another tuck spot. And here's a tag. And it can fold out so you have a lot of journaling space. I know this video is gonna result in a lot of questions. But questions are great. It gets us all to understand what is happening. And here I just created some tiny tucks with a little bit of um, more folded paper for journaling cards. And this is a stitched in binder. Uh, no, binder. Journal. And I did use the pamphlet stitch to stitch this in. And I'll go through how to do a pamphlet stitch in another video. And back here, I actually did a lot. <laughs> Here's a pocket that I glued down and it opens up. Uh, sorry, not a pocket, an envelope. 
and I can show you how to do this in another video as well. And then this is just a little flip out. It's an envelope that I glued the, the flap down and it flips out so I can store stuff in the pocket. And then it also has a tuck here so I can tuck things in. And then here is another side pocket. So there's that journal. Sorry. And then this is another journal I made with envelopes. This is a side pocket, another side pocket. Uh, here's a little flip out that I did. It has tags and journaling spots in there and a flip up and flip down. Oh, it comes out. More journaling space. And then this is what an altered book ends up looking like. And I misspoke earlier. This is actually the book that I created to keep um, some papers from my mom in. Uh, so I did a journal cover. Uh, I want to say nameplate. It's not a nameplate. But this is like the cover decoration for the journal. And I have a little pocket and I have some little little bits in here where I can put some secret notes. So this one I put lace on the edge of the pages just to decorate it. Here is just a standard pocket at the bottom of the page. Here are some, we call these corner pockets because they're uh, diagonal. So I can put stuff here or here. And this is a knitting pattern that my mom wrote. So I want to try that someday. And this I just glued it on. But up here is a top pocket. So I just glued this side and this side. Allowing me to slide things in the top. Here is just another pocket. Here is like a side pocket again. And this is just hem tape. I wanted to decorate the side. Here's another bigger side tuck. I haven't looked at this book for a while. And this is a side tuck. And here I used, I folded the page over and glued it so that I could have a tuck pocket here. Put some more trim here. Here's a tag. I just used um, hem tape to do the tassel and this is a paper kit I'll have to um, figure out the who I got it from and I'll put that in the description here this is like a double pocket and I did that on both sides so you can store a lot of information um, here's a belly band I know there have been some questions about a belly band this is a belly band so I can slip things under here and they'll stay. Um, you just have whatever width of paper you want to go on your page and then you glue it at the top and the bottom and that's how you attach a belly band. Oh this was fun. So this one I folded it over and I have a tuck there and then I put a paper corner on to have another tuck there. I just wanted lots of space to keep all the little things that I found that were my mom's. And I think that's it for this book. And then the last type of journal that I want to go over, and this will be an ever-evolving series, so it's not limited to just these kinds of journals. These are just the ones that I had examples of today. So this is from a magazine, as I've said in other videos. I just took a magazine and folded the page in half, and then I doubled the pages. Because it was a magazine, I did paint the pages to cover up the images. Um, you could also take envelopes and cover the images, cover the page, or this I tore out of a magazine. You could glue this on to cover up what was behind it. 
So there's lots of different choices. Um, and then here is an example of a sideways belly band because this allows you to put things in here. It's just glued on the two sides. And this is just a little flip out. Hi again, I kind of got cut off. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with my phone, but I'll get it figured out. So this is a simple little um, belly band again. I punched a hole so I could see my little Mickey in here and then I paper clipped it so that you could still see Mickey. But this is, these are examples of the journals that I have been working with recently. This is not at all the end of the kinds of journals that you can make. So I hope that you've enjoyed this and the second video for my junk journaling where do I start series. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.